My name is Evert Hassink. I work for Friends of the Earth Netherlands, part of Friends of the Earth International. And I work on international issues uh, such as uh, oil pollution, mining, uh, and also on agro commodities like um, soy and palm oil. Friends of the Earth has done a lot of work on tin mining because uh, we have seen a boom in the use of electronics and therefore also a boom in the, the use of tin that is used as a solder in, in all electronics. Uh, and we saw the, the consequences uh, in Indonesia on the island of Bangka Belitung, um, where you can see on many parts of the islands um, almost a moon-like crater landscape um, because tin sand um, is quite uh, a, sh a shallow um, thing, so it's easy to dig a hole and fetch the tin sand, but the result is that the environment is completely destroyed. Um, therefore, we now work with uh, local smelters that are under pressure from international brands um, to make tin mining on Banka Belitung uh, more sustainable and to move away from tin mining to a more sustainable livelihood. Yeah, there, there are, I guess, three uh, consequences. Um, the first one is that the um, uh, local farmers lose their lands and also um, clean water, so that they are no longer able to um, to conduct their, their farms, their business. Um, um, the same goes, in a way, for the fishermen. Uh, offshore tin mining uh, pollutes the water and destroys coral reefs um, with big negative um, impacts on uh, fish stocks. And then there are the direct, more labor-related uh, related impacts. Um, 50, approximately 50 people a year are killed in tin mines onshore and offshore. The more direct approach to um, improve the situation on Banca Belitung would be to campaign towards the local entrepreneurs and the local government, which our local um, partners are doing. There is a local friends of Europe group on Banca, but they didn't have um, a lot of traction, a lot of influence, because um, so much money is made by the tin miners that they don't care a lot and bribe government officials when they try to um, implement laws. Um, the same goes on a, a higher level. Indonesian government makes a lot of money um, through tin mining. Um, so, although parts of the government um, try to um, make a positive change, other parts of the government um, act as a, um, a break on development. Therefore, we decided to look for the other um, involved party, which is the, the brands that in the end buy the tin. Uh, and that proved to be successful because now there is uh, this outside pressure outside from outside of the Indonesian uh, society. We see that um, uh, things start to move. So this maybe a little bit of extra pressure helps to uh, start a more positive development. I visited the, um, the tin mining um, locations in, in Indonesia. Um, and well, Banka and Belitung still are also um, tourist destinations, especially for Indonesians. So the visits to these islands were quite nice, although the contrast between the tourist beaches and the tin mines a few miles away are, of course, quite big. Um, and it is, it, is, it is very interesting to see the huge differences between the lives of the uh, hotel owners and the lives of the poor miners, um, and then of course also the rich tin traders. So the, the, the society is maybe even more interesting than the, the local environment, which is the same in Nigeria, where I've been as well, where there is a very complex uh, um, societal network of um, oil thieves, uh, NGOs, local chiefs, 
international uh, companies, local uh, politicians with a lot of money or without a lot of money that make these uh, issues well, very interesting apart from the um, big personal uh, offers that local normal ordinary people have to, to bring. Well, a maybe not concrete but important result is that we now have a, a tin working group with uh, all the major electronics brands that are working on a, a plan to improve tin mining on Banca Belitung, um, which now has had the effect that there is also a group, a local group of tin mining companies on Banca Belitung that is working on a plan for sustainable tin mining. Um, the big issue to solve is how to connect these two groups. Um, the local entrepreneurs, of course, want to um, see a business case for their responsible tin, while the international brands want to make statements that they try to do something good, but they do not want to sign a contract <laughs> um, um, to have uh, well, to buy, for example, better tin. What we made an activist to us uh, annoyance about things that were uh, inefficient um, developments that are destroying, were destroying, for example, the landscape or uh, good air quality in the city where I lived, while solutions were so obvious. So annoyed me so much that I got involved in uh, well, local policy, etc. And in the end, uh, my scope became wider and wider uh, until it uh, reached to Indonesia. It, well, it, it is always interesting that when, um, as a campaigner, you get involved with a, with a country like Nigeria or like Indonesia, um, it is. It, becomes clear that there is always a lot behind the issue you first start to work on. So for for myself, but also for uh, friends of yours, Netherlands, these two countries and some other countries are or became focus countries because uh, Indonesia has tin mines, palm oil plantations, coal mines. Um, so then there is um, there are those. Um, environmental uh, arguments to work on a certain country, but of course there also is the personal context and the uh, connection between the organizations that uh, foster um, well, effective collaboration. So that's, um, that's another, another reason why we became active in, 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 on tin mining in, in, in Indonesia, because before we were active and we still are effect, active on uh, palm oil and deforestation in Indonesia. Well, I am optimistic about um, the ability of NGOs and governments to prevent the worst cases of pollution. I, I do not see another Nigeria happening somewhere else in the world. And I also think that um, we are able to make mining in Indonesia more responsible. And I do not expect that, that it, there will be another place where the mining will go instead because there is um, pressure worldwide. But on the other hand, um, we have a growing population that is becoming more wealthy. So there will be a demand for, for minerals, for energy. So I do expect that the overall environmental impact will rise, although the, the impact might be that the extremes might go down, but overall there will be a, a big impact with a lot of deforestation and um, mine areas. Mm -hmm.